The death of Italy's second richest man, Leonardo del Vecchio, means that his estimated $25. 5 billion fortune will now be divided among his heirs. The 87-year-old hour mogul leaves behind his second wife, Nicoletta Zompillo, and six children from three different relationships, ranging in age from 18 to 65. All seven are now likely to become billionaires, inheriting Del Vecchio's Luxembourg-based holding company Delphin and its billions of dollars in assets. One of Italy's most famous entrepreneurs with a rags to riches tale of success, the factory apprentice Turnauer Mogul lived in Monaco and held his vast fortune, including ownership of Sunglass Hut, Ray-Ban and Oakley, through Luxembourg-based Delphin. After a reorganization of the firm's holding structure in 2014, he held on to a 25% direct stake, with the remaining 75% divided among his six children, Claudio, age 65, Marissa, 63, and Paola, 61, from his first marriage to Luciana Nervo, who he reportedly divorced in the 1990s, Leonardo Maria, 27. The vast majority of Del Vecchio's net worth, $22.2 2 billion, is tied up in his 32% stake in publicly traded Essilor Luxotica, the world's largest highway firm, which was the product of a merger between Del Vecchio's Luxotica and French prescription lenses giant Essilor in 2018. The next most valuable assets are a nearly 10% stake in Italian insurer Generali, worth about $2.6 billion, just 120% of Italian bank Medio Banca. 27% of French real estate investment firm Covivio and about 2% of Italian bank Unicredit. Del Vecchio also owned the $26 million, 203 foot yacht Monaco's as well as nearly $80 million in other assets including real estate in Monaco, France, and Luxembourg, a Gulfstream G650 jet, a yacht marina in northeastern Italy and a 13% stake in Luxembourg's national airline Luxair. Forbes also estimates that Del Vecchio and Delphin owed about $3.1 One billion in debt. Delphin's 2014 reorganization stipulated that Del Vecchio's 25% stake would pass to his wife Zompillo after his death. Delphin's articles of association state that any financial decisions will need to be agreed upon by 88% of shareholders, effectively requiring unanimity among Del Vecchio's heirs. Forbes estimates that the 25% stake Zompillo stands to inherit is worth about $6.4 billion, pre-tax, while the six children's stakes are each worth roughly $3.2 billion, pre-tax. A representative for Delphin confirmed the ownership structure. The best known of Del Vecchio's children is his oldest son Claudio. Sent to the U. S. by his father in 1982 at age 25, back when he didn't understand English, he ran the U. S. arm of Luxotica for 15 years. During that time he helped orchestrate a public offering, acquired lens crafters for 